Now at 11, two-year-old Lane Grave is the only person to ever be killed in an alligator attack at Disney World. But the tragic encounter was by no means the first time park guests have had run-ins with the animal. And I looked and I went, oh my God, that's an alligator. And it was probably about six to seven feet. In April of 2015, San Diego lawyer David Hyden took his family to Disney World. His five-year-old son waded calf deep into a lagoon behind their hotel. I saw something rapidly coming on him like a submarine. Hyden grabbed his son to safety and then told the hotel's managers, even showed them this photo he took. And the response, I just couldn't believe it. It was, those are resident pets and we've known them about them for years. There are actually a ton of home videos on YouTube of Disney alligator encounters. Here's what looks like a Disney employee using a stick to shoo one away from visitors at Splash Mountain. Here's another of kids feeding an alligator on some Disney property, which is actually forbidden by state law in Florida. Fish and wildlife officials say Disney's record with the animals is a good one. Disney uh, has been um, very proactive with regard to dealing with alligators. But some have wondered why Disney, situated where alligators are indigenous, doesn't just put up fences to make sure its guests are safe. Along with it being unsightly, this is probably why. Not much of a barrier. Matt and Melissa Graves of Nebraska, who lost their son Tuesday night, released a statement today. They say words cannot describe their shock and grief. They thank the local authorities in Orlando, and they ask for privacy during this extremely difficult time.